hey guys welcome back to the channel <sighs> so today we are doing something a bit different from what i normally do on this channel my video is for all my girlies all my girls out there this video is about basically how to smell fresh how to smell nice all day how to stay clean okay if this is your first time seeing this beautiful face here my name is jenny please subscribe to the channel and join the fam i promise you're going to love it here so let's get into the video you guys i'm sure this has happened to every single woman every single lady out there those days when you're rushing you're literally trying to get out the door you're heading out only for you to get out and realize you forgot to put on deodorant yes that recently happened to me and you guys google saved my life okay google is out here out here plugging us out here saving us out here putting us onto great hacks okay you guys i went on google and i found this hack where basically um if you forget to put on deodorant you can actually use a hand sanitizer yes because the hand sanitizer basically has quite a high amount of alcohol so obviously when you apply it in your underarms the alcohol kills the bacteria that causes the smell and it also dries up the sweat as well and i want to believe <laughs> that you good sis has a sanitizer somewhere in your bag because we all know what's out there i really want to believe everyone has a sanitizer okay so yes that's a very good hack for you know on days like that so the second tip or hack that i have for you is this this is called an atomizer can you see it's called an atomizer there are different types actually but this one is my favorite type so this is basically for putting in your perfumes if you want to carry on like a very small amount of perfumes for people like me i literally hate carrying like heavy bags heavy purses mm -mm. I like to have just my essentials in so this was a game changer for me I bought this about five years ago and it was like so cheap even right now I'm sure it's still very affordable so um yeah basically this is the one that opens up basically put in your perfume in here um and then pop it in your bag in your purse i mean this fits into a little purse it's literally like a lipstick size fits into a little purse if you're out to, out at dinner you can just take it out you know spritz a few pumps here and there and no one would even notice even if you're out in public you know this keeps you smelling nice all day long you guys i love ah it smells amazing i love to put in like my favorite perfumes at the moment you know i have about six of these if i'm being honest i put in different perfumes in different ones i don't really tag them because i know which perfume is in which one but yes um i just take it out like this Sometimes I spray this in my car before I leave my car and you know when you head up people are like Oh my god, it smells so nice and I'm like, thank you <laughs> But yes, this is a very, very, very good essential for every woman out there You need to have this somewhere in your purse, okay? So the next little tip or hack that I have for you This is especially for when you're using public toilets, public bathrooms You know how sometimes when you go to the bathroom or the toilet And you do like number one, sometimes number two And then water splashes back up girl <laughs> you don't want that happening in the public toilet okay like you literally do not want that happening to you you don't know what you can catch okay like the possibilities are endless <laughs> so when you're in a public toilet bathroom sis you need to be very generous with your tissue okay make sure everything is covered with tissue tissue paper before you actually go on to do your business whether you're doing number one or number two you are not going to have that splashback happening because that oh just even thinking about it you guys is literally giving me goosebumps but yes you do not want that splashback happening on your behind or any parts of your down there okay especially when you're out in public i mean <laughs> no please just no okay make sure you always do that when you're in a public toilet so now let's move on to the teeth the next tip that i have for you is for your teeth okay so um before i left secondary school i'm going to be honest i did not know because i was in boarding like i just used to take i think about two or so toothbrushes with me i didn't realize you're supposed to change your toothbrush like every three months yes i did not know that at the time so i obviously just kept on using my toothbrush until you know maybe something happened to you so i felt like okay it's time to change or something but i recently found out not recently but after secondary school i found out that you're supposed to actually change your toothbrushes every three months yes every three months guys girls if your toothbrush has reached three months three months is the max please throw it out and get a new one don't wait till your toothbrush starts parting like the um, like the seed that was parted in the bible please 
<laughs> the reason why I'm saying this is because I actually legit saw someone's toothbrush recently that was like that and I was just in shock no lies you guys literally and this person had the mind to argue with me that the toothbrush was still effective and I was like <sighs> okay sis please like once it's three months throw out your toothbrush don't wait till it gets like that scenario okay because toothbrush actually holds on to like the dirt in your teeth do you realize that it holds on to the dirt so you need to change that frequently so you make sure that you know you're taking the best care of your teeth and also make sure you brush twice daily i never well sometimes this but most times i actually brush twice daily maybe it's because i have a sweet tooth and i end up eating quite a lot of sweet things during the day so it's like non-negotiable for me i have to brush twice a day okay and you guys my teeth is in amazing condition like i don't have any form of tooth problem toothache nada and i it's and i consume so much sweet stuff okay i brush twice a day it's a must for me and it's a must for you as well and also when you brush when i start brushing twice a day i notice like when i get up in the mornings my mouth doesn't smell you know like how you see in american movies where they basically just roll out of bed and they eat breakfast or roll out of bed and they kiss like their husbands or their partners or their wives and stuff and i'm like how do you all do that because i'm sure your mouth is smelling girl when i started brushing twice a day my mouth doesn't smell in the morning okay i have clean breath in the morning ask my husband so the next sort of tip hack that i have for you is like in the underarm area so make sure that you shave your underarm frequently like your armpits that's what i mean by underarm so make sure that you're either waxing shaving shaving stick shaving cream methods of shaving your underarm pick anyone and shave your underarm but just make sure you shave your underarm at least once a month because leaving lots of hair growth down there is going to hold on to death hold on to bacteria and just basically make you smell more i mean when i used to leave my armpits to grow out during like the winter months this was when i was uni during the winter months i'm like oh, i wear long sleeve all the time no one gets to my armpit i might as well just let it grow out girl that was not the best because i used to notice like during those months i have to reapply deodorant a bit more frequently than when i you know didn't let it grow out so that's why i mean it holds on to dirt and stuff like that so you need to cut it at least keep it really really short cut it that way you smell less like there's less chance of a odor happening down there okay and always make sure you know you wear deodorant this um leads me on to my next point so always make sure you wear deodorant whatever deodorant you want to wear that's really up to you but i use natural deodorants and you guys the natural deodorant that i use actually lasts much longer than you know like the store-bought ones normally with the store-bought ones i find that i have to reapply but with this one <laughs> i don't want to exaggerate but let's say it lasts like 24 hours or let me say at least you're guaranteed 12 hours of no smell yes you perspire which i think is very normal we're supposed to sweat like why do you want to keep all that trapped in there yes you sweat but there's no smell the durant i use is actually something called alum i'm not sure i think that's the english name this durant you guys is a game changer for me you may always make sure you have on deodorants girl sis it is non-negotiable okay deodorant is non-negotiable please always make sure you have it on in your underarms because you need to keep that area locked you need to make sure like no smell is coming out no smell in terms of coming out and even the ones that have come out they are locked up in there okay always make sure you put on deodorants and keep the armpit hair short always so my next point this is basically for um you know menstrual period you guys you knew we we're going to get here okay you knew we we're going to talk about this you can't be a woman and not talk about this okay we we're going to talk about this so um, this first of all this is nothing to be embarrassed about i feel comfortable talking about it okay so essentially when you're in your period we all know what period is we all get it once a month is that time in your cycle where you know your body is basically taking out you know you know what i'm talking about i don't know what words i'm not allowed to say because i don't want to get copyrighted but yeah um so basically during your periods we all know that you know there's a higher chance of you you basically need to be more clean if you're clean before you need to be cleaner if you're cleaner you need to be cleanest during your period okay you just need to take everything a tad bit more you know seriously during your period so during your period obviously you can use either sanitary towels you can use tampons you can use um menstrual cups whatever works for you that's up to you but just make sure you change frequently like you shouldn't be leaving your period parts for anything longer than four or five hours like sis what are you doing are you trying to like infect you down there make sure you change every four or five hours just the same way you change a baby's diaper you don't leave 
that area wet for long you need to make sure you're putting in your sanitary towels that are dry if it's tampons you're changing if it's menstrual cups you're pouring out and you know inserting new ones also like you know when you're in your pures as well you're not like i feel like tissue doesn't really clean down there as well you know what i'm saying you need to go a step further and use wipes like or wash if you're at home please by all means wash but if you're not at home then you know at least have like um, what's it called I can't remember what it's called but just have like wipes in your purse so that you know after going to the toilet you can obviously wipe with a wipe and that way you make sure you're cleaner also before you change your sanitary towels if you're home wash if you're not at home you know again wipe make sure that area is clean before putting on a new sanitary towel down there also this goes without saying you need to have your bath more frequently when you're in your period I don't know if I need to be telling you guys this because I want to believe everyone is already doing this. But if you're not, please make sure you're having your bath. I just want to briefly touch on like um what's it called feminine wash. Personally, and from like the research and stuff that I do have done or I, I do, I realize that you're not really supposed to use like all these washes and stuff down there in secondary school. Again, no one really told us about this. I think like in secondary school, everyone was just winging everything. Like we never really had all these health professionals come and speak to us or tell us the right things or right way to do things. So we're basically all just winging it. Like I was using soap and you're not supposed to use soap down there. And it was scented soap. My mom was like, oh, I just want to make it smell my more. Yes, you're not supposed to use scented soaps down there, okay? If you must use soap, it has to be on scented. And it has to be on like the outer parts, like anything soap scented should not be going in anywhere so um if you're going to be using feminine wash make sure it's um one that is ph balanced the one i use is the one by summer's eve the pink and white bottle i'm going to put it somewhere on the screen as well for you guys so that's what i use um yeah but apart from feminine wash i really feel like you have no business using any scented soaps bath wash body wash down there please like please 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 you're not trying to infect yourself okay yes i know you may feel like you're doing the right thing but it's not actually not good for your down there so yes you guys this brings me to the end of the tips or the hacks that i have for you you guys you already know this i don't need to be saying this but you know cleanliness is next to godliness when you feel clean you feel confident okay <laughs> When you feel clean, you're confident. I mean, like, I don't know anyone that is confident living in their house and they know that they're smelling. Like, I would be feeling so self-conscious and so uncomfortable. So just make sure everything is in top-notch condition, okay? And, yeah, if you have any more hacks that you'd like to add to this, or if you have any more questions, or any questions for me in general, you can leave it in the comment section down below. And I really hope you guys learned a thing or two and enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.